So we have seen um, in a few prices rise to unprecedented levels in this country. What happened was that somebody in the Ministry of Health um, instituted a policy where all truck drivers entering Uganda have to take a um, a COVID-19 test, PCR test at $30 each. Of course, the truck drivers didn't like it, and they complained, and then they went on strike. This happened sometime in December. So, since like mid-December, there's been no fuel entering the country. So, of course, shortages and fuel, and the prices went up. Um, after a week or so of this, the Minister of Health predictably backtracked and said, ah, okay, okay, that, um, um, the truck drivers didn't have to take that test anyway. And considering that certainly Uganda, which was insisting on that test, it wasn't a very clever thing to do. Somebody in the Ministry of Health comes up with these harebrained schemes. They don't think them through. They don't think about the results or the consequences. We also saw what happened um, at Entebbe Airport when the same Minister of Health declared that every arriving passenger, no matter where they're coming from, no matter how many tests they've, they've done, they had to take another PCR test at their own cost before they entered the country. Of course, that caused a lot of confusion, it caused a lot of chaos. People, people spend hours at the airport. Many tourists cancel their plans. Travelers, business, no cancel plans to come to Uganda. I mean, who wants to be part of that chaos? Again, predictably, after about a week or so, the Mr. Field backtracked. So who does these things? Who comes up with these schemes? Of course, we've asked the, you know, the government for explanation, nothing's coming. So what I'm saying is that, why don't we ask our MPs you know, to, to, to find out for us? I mean, we pay them enough money. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.